2007 Volkswagen Golf 1.4. You ready? Starts and stops, and the key light is flashing. The first thing I always do when I come across this problem, especially when the key light is flashing, well, even when it's not, is do one thing first. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video right as you saw from the beginning, car starts and stops. So the, one of the first things I always do is pop the bonnet. Lift up the bonnet, because that normally helps when you pop it. And look at the battery. Oh, and boom, that battery looks brand new. Now, what does that tell me? A couple of things. One, the battery has mostly been replaced quite recently like i'm within a few weeks i'm guessing um so what normally happens now not all the time but it's a it's a quick and easy trick to do first is if someone's changed the battery when the battery goes low or the battery's having issues you can have an immobilizer problem because the voltage is too low and what can also happen is depend on how they change the battery um you can actually lose the programming in the key to a degree or if the battery has been really low for a long, long time, the car's been stalled, it will kind of do the same thing. I have also seen someone to change the battery and a couple of days later have this issue. So, now I know there's a fairly fresh battery in it. What I'm gonna do is just get the key, put it in the ignition, turn it on. The light's gonna flash, hopefully, yep. Mobile lights, lights flashing. I'm just gonna leave it in there for an hour, a couple of hours or so. Um, even says, mobilizer active. Um, I'm just gonna leave it in there. This trick doesn't always work, but it does sometimes, just to kind of get the key reprogrammed. But you wanna make sure your battery is fully charged. So you, you might even wanna put it on a battery charger as you're doing this, because if the voltage goes down too low, you're in trouble. So I'm gonna put a battery charger on this, and we're gonna see what happens within a couple of hours. Um, now, it's completely different if you have no key light flashing and the car stops and dies because these do have a big problem with communication between the clocks and the actual car. The CAN bus system fails and when that happens, the car won't start. Um, I've also seen ABS pumps to fail, causing the car not to start. But normally when them things happen, you will have... Uh, you won't have the engine, you won't have the battery light flashing and you'll have other, other, um, you'll have other codes or other lights on the dash. I have got a P0513, which is an immobilizer issue. I haven't got any other problems. Normally you would have a clock or a, a instrument cluster uh, communication problem. You could have an ABS communication problem. You have loads of different problems. And what you can actually do, is, especially with the ABS pump, you can take it out or just disconnect it and try and start it. Unfortunately, you can't do that with the clocks. If you take the clocks out, it will not start because the immobilizer goes through it. So, in this situation, what I'm gonna do, just because it's quicker and easier to just do this, is just put the key in and uh, leave it there for a few hours and see what happens. Right, I forgot to say, um, I've done a few of these before in the past, and what you've got to be very careful of, and I've said this in all, in well, most of my diagnostic videos, and in any diagnostics you do, I personally think it's vitally important to know your battery. Know if your battery's charging, know if your battery's good. One thing I didn't say in the video, because of the battery was fairly new, even though don't go, don't go, just because the battery's new doesn't mean it's good, is you always test your battery. You know, there's some cheap battery testers on the market now that you can test to make sure the cranking amps are okay and all that sort of stuff. Because if the battery is going low at night or it's taking a couple of days to go low, especially with these Volkswagen, you're gonna have this key issue where the battery goes too low and it's not gonna work. So it could just be a battery issue. It could be an alternator issue, not charging the battery. So it's vitally important check your battery check your charging system your whole charging system before you really do anything and when you're doing this um you know this little trick 
Uh, also make sure your battery is on charge, even if it's a new battery, because you're keeping the ignition on for quite a long time, you know, depending on what's running, depending on how modern your car is, there could be a lot of stuff running. You could have aftermarket stuff in there as well, and it could wear down the battery, so it's gonna give you a false result. You're thinking you're doing good, but you're actually you're wearing your battery down. So these are a few things to keep in mind, you know, and making sure your charging system before you do anything on any diagnostics is one of the most important thing in my opinion. Right, we have a battery charger on. Um, and all you gotta do is basically, if that light stops flashing, then you know this is gonna kind of work. Now it could stop flashing in five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, it just depends. I've seen them kind of do it. There's no, there's no specific time as such that they do it. Um, but if it doesn't normally do it after a couple of hours, you may be not going to get it to work. But even after a few hours, if it hasn't worked, just cycle your key just to check because there's still a chance it could. So I'm just going to leave it here and we're just going to see um, what happens. I'm maybe going to give it half an hour, an hour. Right, there we go. The light stopped flashing. I'm just going to cycle the key. Still not flashing. Boom! There we go. So in this case, it appears to have worked. But I'm just going to do a few more checks. But at the minute, it appears to have worked. Let's just start it a few times. Just to be on the safe side. All the lights have gone off, which is good, so there's nothing else wrong, I don't think. There we go. Appears to be okay. Right, also when you're having this problem, also another good thing to check is your charging system. Make sure your battery is being charged and make sure your battery isn't draining overnight. So any parasitic drawers, anything like that. Because this, all that issue causes that batch, causes this issue. Now there is other issues, but this is the main, the main issue of it. And especially when you put the key in and it kind of programs itself. I know there's no hard fault in there in the sense of like a broken wire or something not working because it physically works. So check your battery, check your charging system, check for parasitic drawers. If all, if all that is fine, do what I did. If that's not fine, fix whatever issue you've got. Also do what I did and you shouldn't have a problem. So as always, I hope it helps. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget, links up here, links down below, but most importantly, never forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted. Just, just one more go for shits and giggles. Boom, boom, boom.